trial came to an abrupt end today in Tarrant County when the defendant had a sudden change of heart. Glenn McCurley switched his plea to guilty for kidnapping and killing Carla Walker back in 1974. Adriana de Alba has the emotional reaction from her family. After nearly 50 years, the unsolved killing of 17 year old Carla Walker came to an emotional end Tuesday morning. What is your plea? It was a rare, powerful moment when the families of the victim and murderer embraced. Carla's sister, Cindy Walker, spoke to McCurley after he pled guilty. I wish you had done this a long time ago. I want to know if you've done this to anybody else, you need to bring that out because those families need to know too. An arrest warrant says McCurley kidnapped Carla Walker after a high school Valentine's Day dance. She was in a parking lot with her boyfriend Rodney when he pulled her out of the car. He pistol whipped her boyfriend unconscious and left. Carla's body was found in a culvert two days later. After nearly 50 years, advanced DNA evidence led to McCurley's arrest and this day in court. We, we did it. We got him. We did it. We never gave up. We know how loved Carla was. And um, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that goes into a case like this. And we were so grateful that the Walker family trusted us um, with the memory and legacy of Carla. While justice brings joy, the pain hasn't gone away after more than four long decades. I don't think there's closure. I don't even know what closure means really. I don't think because you will never forget it. Never, ever. Carla's boyfriend, Rodney, the last person who saw her before she was kidnapped and murdered. He hung a cloud of suspicion on me for all those years. I mean, that's, that's torment. I just felt I let Mr. Walker down. I, his little flower, that's what he, take care of my little flower. Together, they begin to walk toward a path of healing. Finally, after 47 years. In Fort Worth, I'm Adriana Dalba.